Welcome back everyone. Today's video is actually going to be a pretty quick video. We're going to be discussing how to add 3D text to our scene. A lot of you already know how to do this from your first project and have, having worked with me one-on-one uh, -on -one in how to add 3D text, but this is our official lesson for how we add text to a scene. The thing to know about text, and I'm going to show you my first little note here, is that it's just like any other mesh. So any other object in Blender, um, 3D text is added just like the rest of them. It just has some different properties. So I'm going to go ahead and add a mesh by doing Shift A. You could also go to the Create menu. And instead of doing a mesh, which is one of our shapes, I'm going to add a text object. So it's very similar to a mesh, but it has different properties. And when I add text, if I go into Top View, Notice that the text is oriented straight down. So if I'm looking at a bird's eye view, I can see my text. However, text is just like any other object. I can rotate it, I can scale it, make it bigger. That look, that's looking pretty good, so I'm going to leave it like that. So the same controls that I have available to me on objects, I also have available to me on text. The really easy thing to remember about text is that we edit it by using edit mode. So with this selected, if I go into edit mode, I get a cursor and I can, I can change this to whatever I want. Oh, we have to remember we have to remember to exit edit mode so that it stops editing. And now I can see my text. I'm going to move my camera slightly so that I can see it a little bit better. There we go. So I've got hello text. Now the beautiful thing about text is that I also can add materials to it. So just like with any object, I can add a color, I can add material, change the specular intensity, change the diffuse intensity, all that stuff that we get with objects we also have with textures. The big difference between a texture and a, an object is that, or a mesh rather, is that the textures, the um, text rather, has this font button. So when we have text selected, we get this little F on our button bar. The F, if I go ahead and click on that guy, Include some options that are specific to text. And if we take a look at these real quick, the ones that are the most important or the ones that we care about the most are geometry. So geometry has four options, offset, extrude, depth, and resolution. And we're not going to worry about resolution right now, but the other three are pretty important to us. So offset basically means bold. How bold or thick are our letters? Extrude extrudes our letters. That one should be pretty obvious. It basically allows us to give our uh, letters some substance. And then depth basically smooths out or slants the edges of the text. So let's take a look at these guys. Offset makes it bold, extrude extrudes it outwards, and depth slants the edges. So if I offset it, and I increase the offset, we can see it getting a little bit more bold. If I bring it way down, then my letters are getting really thin. Extrude means I'm going to actually make my letters three-dimensional. That there. And then depth, look very carefully, depth is going to allow me to add this little slanted edge to my letters. See that there? They get a little bit bigger, and they also get this slanted edge. So without changing the font, without changing anything about our uh, text properties, all we've modified are these three geometry values, and we get a very different looking text. Now I'm going to drop these guys back to zero, just because I want to show off one more thing. We also have, if we scroll down, we're going to come back to fonts in a second, but if we scroll down to our paragraph tab, we get 
ways to align. So we have right justify, we have left justify, we have center. And that's based on the origin of the object. So see how the center of the object is right here? So when the text is centered, that means that our, our, um, the center of our object is in the middle of the text. Left means the center is to the left of the text, and right means the center is to the right of the text. I'm going to put mine back to left for now. And then we have our spacing. I can increase my letter spacing. I could increase word spacing if I had more than one word. And I could increase my line spacing if I have more than one line. So all the basic paragraph formatting that you would have in a word editor, you have access to right here. Perhaps the most interesting option is our font option. So by default, we have this B font um, font in here, but we can add other fonts to Blender as long as they are what is called a true type font. So let's see, where's my text here? Add any true type font to Blender. And true type fonts uh, end with the extension dot t t f. So let's go find one. I'm going to show you guys. There's a website called 1001 Free Fonts where we can download some true fonts. Let's try one of these guys out. I am going to download, um, let's see here. I'm going to download Twiddle Sticks. And when I open up Twiddle Sticks, this is what I see. This one's an open type font. We'll have to see if open type will work. So if we extract this to downloads, we get twiddlesticks.otf inside of our Twiddle Sticks folder. So I'm going to go black, back into Blender. I'm going to open a font. I'm going to go to downloads, Twiddle Sticks. Twiddle sticks OTF and open that guy up. And now I've got a totally different font on my object. So I'm going to add to my notes here, ends with extension OTF. We can also add open type fonts OTF. So even though Blender doesn't come with many built-in fonts, right now we only have access to B font and Twiddle sticks, we can go online and pull down any font we would like to help change our Blender fonts and add to them. The last thing I want to show you guys is how we curve our text. So there's this really neat trick where we can add to our scene something called a path. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to do Shift A. And I am going to add, where's my path here? So I'm going to add my path. And I'm going to kind of curve this path a little bit like this. So all I've done is gone into edit mode, to make a path. And I'm moving the vertices of the path around. So now I've got this interesting curved shape here. See that there? And in the text properties of my um, text object, or in the font properties, rather, of my text object, there's a little option over here called Text on Curve. And if I want to, I can select my path, and it is going to attach my text to the path. So now the text is kind of following the pattern of this path right here. It's just an interesting way that we can wrap our text around other objects. We can curve our text in interesting ways to create word, uh, word art that's a little bit more complex than a traditional straight font. So hopefully you guys got some interesting tidbits from this video. This video obviously was a lot shorter than the rest, uh, but it's just to get you comfortable with the idea of being able to add text to our scene. Thanks for watching.